Okay, so the next video we're going to cover neck binding. So one of the things that I mention in the patterns usually is to give your elastic a stretch to wake it up. I don't know how many of you do that, but it is important and I just wanted to show you why. Um, so I've got a 10 inch piece of elastic that I've cut here and I'll show you what the difference is when you wake the elastic up. So just give it a little stretch. So when we look at it again, it's about 10 and three quarter inches. So that's how much extra it's adding. So you will get differences in the fit if you're not doing the little wake up test before you start. So we'll pop that to the side. So here I've cut my binding strip for the neck and the elastic for the neck and I've also done the wake up. Um, so we want to just right, roughly place that in the middle and then we're going to stitch that on. So we just start stitching. So if you're not particularly confident, I suggest um, disengaging your knife. The, there's a little um, dial on these machines, but the Janome's, you just pull open this section and there's an area where you can adjust that as well. Okay, so the next step, we're just going to fold the elastic portion in half to mark halfway. And I've done the same on the neckline here. Um, so I've marked my halfway point on the neckline as well. So the other point that we actually want to mark on the neckline is around about one centimetre in from the edge on both sides. That's where we want the elastic to finish when we're sewing it on. Okay, so the elastic point we want to line up with that. And then same on the other end. And then we want to match the midpoints as well. Okay, so when we're stitching that on, we're just going to stretch out in between to make the elastic length match the um, neck opening. So stop sewing. Okay, so once you're confident you've actually grabbed the start of the elastic, then you can just stretch out. So this is how our neckline looks now. And then you'll notice that the elastic is finishing just before the ends. And the reason we do that is that when we do the arm binding, we don't want to have um, any bulk when the uh, arm elastic comes up over this area. So it keeps it nice and flat and flush. Okay. So now we want to keep the elastic sitting on the front of the togs. And then we're just going to wrap the binding around to the back. Let's grab some clips. Mm 
Okay, so that's how we're looking now. And we're just going to top stitch this down. So I'm going to use cover stitch. Um, if you don't have a cover stitch, you can easily use your sewing machine. So you use twin needles or a stretch stitch um, or a sort of a decorative zigzag type stitch to finish that off. The other thing I like to do is um, when I'm doing something new like this for the first time, you um, try and use a dark colour or and that's why I like the denim as well and that's why I've included it in the sew along pack. Um, if your stitching is a little bit wonky and you've used a nice thread to match the darker colours, um, it's barely noticeable. So you can get something that's sort of perfectly wearable the first time by using a darker colour. So let's top stitch that down. Okay, so the reason there's extra fabric in the pattern is just so that you've got that little starting point as well when you're sewing. So you don't have to be so precise when you're first starting off. So our front looks like that. Let's check the back, make sure we've caught everything. So that's fine. And then we're just going to trim those edges. So that's your neck binding.